Hello everybody, I very nearly did it. I very nearly forgot to unmute everything. I do it so much, I have to remember, I need a big label. How are you all? Happy Friday. Welcome to Craft Stash Live. Uh, we have got such an exciting show for you. In fact, we've got an exciting seven days for you because it is, of course, a Sizzix birthday coming up next week and we've got the Sizzix launch of chapter four so lots of things going on and that means for you not only lots of offers but also lots of giveaways as well so there's two lots of giveaways I need to talk to you about I'll talk to you about the big big one in a moment with Pete but yes we do have the lovely Pete Hughes in the background waiting to demonstrate he's all set up and ready um, but we do have giveaways this hour as well so I'll quickly tell you about those so you can get your comments in and then sit back and relax and enjoy the demonstration so we are giving away it's £150 worth of product across three of you okay so we're going to pick all three winners today um, that's going to be across Facebook across YouTube wherever you're watching us just simply comment under the video okay you can just say hello or you can tell us how much you love Sizzix maybe what is your favorite Sizzix product things like that we, we don't mind what you put we just take the fact that you've commented um, the more you comment of course the more chances you're going to be uh, have of winning because we totally pick the names at random so we'll choose those at the end of the hour um, I'll try and do that with Pete um, so we'll then send those out to you as soon as possible and that is of course a brand new chapter four in those bundles that we're giving away now chapter four is absolutely fantastic if you haven't already seen it on the website please go ahead and do that we do have an offer on today you can see it in red here 15% off of all of the new chapter four Sizzix products okay now if you go along to craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us wherever you like to shop you will find there uh, you'll actually have a banner at the top of the page when you first go onto the home page and click on that that will just take you to everything chapter four so it's really easy to find but otherwise if you're already on there and you're already browsing through if you go to brands you've got Sizzix under the brands there we've got a lot of brands on craftstash actually um, and then we've got you can sort of uh, select select which uh, category or which range I think it is which range you want find chapter four there we've got things like the Sizzix surfaces for example I'll talk more about those later all with 15% off now no more waiting around we know we want to get to the main man don't we I know you're all waiting, desperate to see him demonstrate because he's so talented we have got the lovely Pete Hughes welcome Pete thank you so much for joining us it's a pleasure it's a pleasure great to be here great to be here i'm very excited chapter four i'm using my fold away today you've got insane offer on the fold away on the website i'm sure yes. you don't mind me saying that actually it's on uh, on the facebook site and yes we have got some great giveaways you're quite right and some fantastic demos i hope Fingers oh absolutely crossed. we know they will be we know they in fact i'm just going to briefly go over that um fold away offer that you just mentioned we've got it up on the screen at the moment anyway so Pete have, do you I take it you've got one yourself I know you've got a lot of a lot of machines I have I have yeah yeah well, here's here's my fold away and this is actually my personal fold away so not only are you getting the machine all the plates the platforms you do get some bonus content so when you see the price it's not just the machine you are getting some dies you're getting some mm. other bits and pieces with that so it's really good value but it's a fantastic offer you're getting it yeah, really is i saw that so you're actually getting things like uh, there's some fabric for example in there as well some dyes you've yes. got a big sty in there as well lots and lots to get you started so a perfect starter bundle really um for everybody who hasn't seen it already it's on just is it's just to the uh right of pete there on the banner it's only 84.99 we have taken 88 pounds or i think it's over 88 pounds off of it that's more than half price I would jump on that really, really quickly. But Pete, aside from that, because that's yes. just an extra bonus, chapter four. Yes. How much do chapter you Chapter four. <laughs> chapter four. Where do we start? Would you like me to start with a demo? Shall How we do about it? That? Or would you like to see some of the dies? Or it's entirely up to you. Where do you want me to go with it? Luke? Shall we see a demo and then we'll run through the dies after a first? That's Let's... what people want to see. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm glad that they do. So we are going to be looking at this lovely, lovely die set to start with. It's called Woodland Lantern. And you can see you can make this lovely, lovely 3D lantern. But you can switch these panels in and out. So you can do it as a solid if you prefer. Or you can switch out the different panels and this is what we're getting in our set so I'm going to start off and I'm going to use my fold away as well um, I'm going to take these little panels off this is the base so you can cut two of this this is okay 
the main body. And now these are the three different panels. One's like a leafy pattern. The mm -hmm. other is like, um, oh, what are those lovely trees? Silver birches. And yep. then of course we've got our lovely reindeer. So it could be festive, it could be autumnal, it could be winter. You can you can even make it spring like if you choose the right colours. So let's have a look. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in my good friend, the fold away for this. And I'll explain a little bit about the machine before we get into the demo. Now it's called the fold away because unsurprisingly, it does fold away. So your handle, everything, the wings it sits beautifully on your shelf Perfect. in your craft room. So it's a space saver. But of course, it is a big shop machine. So it has all the cutting power of our original big shop. Now, let's make a cut. And what I'm gonna do, so this, this has crease blade as well as cut blade okay. as we've come to expect. And I'm just gonna run that through my machine. Oh, Pete, they look like nice clean plates, to be honest. They're not bad. I did well. I do you know what? It's funny. I I actually um, I did I did a show a while back, and I came back three months later using the same plates just to show people wow. that they're still good to go. And you can imagine how much I use my plates. So that's after three months of hammer, not the ones I'm using today, but the ones that I use for a show. So I just wanted to show people that these plates do last rather a long time. Now. I'm putting some of our creamy white acrylic. This is from our effects range. You should find that on the Craft Stash website where you will find absolutely everything. <laughs> like, you're right, you've got so many brands. It's incredible and so much choice within each of those brands. Absolutely. Um, I know and I can say this hand on heart that it is my go-to place. If I'm looking at different brands, if I want to see complete ranges and of course i subscribe to your newsletter so i get every day i get updates on what's coming out what's hot what great sales you have Amazing. so and i i should reiterate that i'm not contractually obliged to say that no i, I didn't i didn't ask pete to say that at all i promise that's lovely to know though pete because um you know i think we we're, we're sort of, one of the number one crafting websites in the UK. But I think everybody tries to say things like that in a roundabout way. So to hear it from, excuse the, the saying, the horse's mouth as such, is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. So there you go, everybody. Pete. Um, if it's good enough for Pete, then it's good enough for everyone there else. You go. So talk us through what I'm you're doing, Pete, sorry. Man. Okay, what I've done, I've applied, I've used this brayer now. If you look at this brayer, you can see, this is my, what I call my tatty brayer because I keep the paint on it and it gives me a lovely textured effect. If I'm going for this, I've got lots of smooth brayers which I clean off. I do clean this up periodically, mm -hmm. but I leave it like this so it gives me more texture. Nice. And you can see I've gone heavier at the base with the white and lighter towards the top. And now I've got some, now please don't ask where I got these little individual text stamps because <laughs> like most people, I have an incredible stash of my favorite stamps. I bought these years ago. I couldn't tell you from where, I couldn't tell you when, but if you go to the wonderful Craft Stash website, I'm sure you will find I'm something sure. similar. So there we have it. Now, what I've done here, you can see we've got all the fold lines in there and I've applied some of this some of this inked um, text on there, just to give more of a pattern, to give kind of interference, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take one of my panels now. So this is the one with the lovely reindeer on, and I'm gonna put it in place now. This is Maker's Tape. It's a wonderful product from, oh, here's my tip of the day, actually. If you fold it like this yeah. and tear it, then it never sticks back ah, down. Ah, there we you go. I was That's going to say not the first a bad tip, tip but it's really not. Because I know I, I struggled for years before I saw that somewhere. It's not mine, it's one that I borrowed. No, I, but it's I very handy to know. One. Yeah, so there you go. Now, what I've done, I've placed that down and I'm going to run that back through my machine. Now, I want to ensure that I get a good clean cut. That maker's tape is keeping the die in place so I don't lose registration because we know that there's nothing more frustrating oh. than that when we go to run it through and the die has slipped out of register. So we'll run it back and forth and let's just take the machine out and what we should get, I'll remove the maker's tape and then we'll just pick that die out and we'll see all, most of those little bits come oh, with it. Gorgeous. Now, if you do need to pop them out, 
use a die pick or use I'm using these lovely Sizzix tweezers these lovely curved tweezers so that's just going to extricate those stubborn little bits which we've come so used to with our lovely complex die cuts and the reason quite... I use the tweezers oh sorry sorry it's quite a that's strong it. cardstock you've got you've gone through there as well isn't it yeah, this is 300 gram and it's craft card. I like to use this mm. sort of card stock for construction pieces because it's a very, you know, you can get 300 gram card stock that is soft. This is quite hard. So I want that so that I get a lovely rigid yeah. finish. Now, if you get some frosted acetate or you could, you could use whatever you have to hand, you can place that then behind that window. Yeah. Now, I could go along and cut each panel. I need to have two of these. And what happens is that it comes together like oh, wow. so. As if by magic. As if by magic. And we've got those lovely panels in there. Then there's a tab here. All you need to do is fold that around, glue it with the tab, and then there's your base. So the base just slips inside. You pop some glue on those tabs, slip it Perfect. there, and then... Oh, here we go. Is it by magic? More magic. Here's one I made earlier. Now, Amazing. the great thing about this, as I said, is winter. It could be Christmas. It could be spring-like. It depends on the colors you use, the vibe you're after. If we get one of these lovely tea lights, and this this is one of those flickering ones. Oh, lovely. So you can pop that in there. Nice you can hang it on your Christmas tree. You can place it on your Christmas table. You can put these outside. You can string these up. You, maybe, maybe you've got friends around in the autumn. You're sitting outside sharing a bottle of wine or whatever your poison oh, yes. may be. It's a lovely, oh, oh, yeah, that was oh, the most yes. enthusiasm you've shown all afternoon, Lou, that well, went into the wine. Pete, you know you said <laughs> about you meeting up soon. Um, <laughs> it might be with a <laughs> bottle of wine or two. Um, that is amazing. That is so pretty. Isn't it, isn't it lovely? And, and there's one other, one other quick thing I want to show you while I'm doing this demo, Lou, actually. I'm going to put a bit more white on there. So let's put that to one side. And let's take another piece of craft cut. So this was an idea I had just to use up some of that spare craft cut. So again, I'm heavier at the top and just fading that out towards the base. Always start off with just a little bit of white. You can yeah. always add more. You can never, ever take it away. So let's pop a little bit more white on can there. Can I just ask what the white is you're using? Sure, it's Sizzix uh, cr Creamy Acrylic. So lovely. this is from our effects range. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lovely, it's a matte acrylic, but it does have body. So it truly is creamy. It works so well with a palette knife. It works so well with a brayer, or if you're just painting with a brush. Um, right. It's a lovely acrylic. So I'm just going to mix up some of that. I've added some water. And I'm going to put that to one side because let me take let me take my panel and this time I'm using the one with those lovely silver birches and I'm going to take a chance on this. Look, I'm actually going to put it out without the maker's tape and oh. let's see how that works out because this one should stay down pretty well. But if it does slip out of registration, it just goes to show why you need your maker's tape. Absolutely. And so, I love the Sizzix tape because it is such a low tack. It never, ever damages my cardstock or paper underneath. Then that's very true. And um, I think the thing is, the reason we developed it, because we looked at it and I said, I want something about the same tack as um, you know, a sticky note lid. Yes. Because that was what I tended to use prior. Because what I find with washi tape is some can be stickier than others and yeah. sometimes it will lift the surface from your cardstock mm. uh, which obviously we do not want yeah. um so with the maker's tape you know whatever so you can see i'm actually spritz Aww. i'm using this and i'm flicking it so this is a great way to control paint splatters or at least get a little more control over it because it is a random technique mm -hmm. now we shall take uh, let's take my stamp again and I'm going to come in this time with my text. I'm just going across this tree because it makes it look even more like a silver birch when I do this. Of course, you uh, could use this die just into a card front, couldn't you, as an aperture? You don't have to use it with the lantern. Do you know what? You're one step ahead of me. Oh, sorry. As <laughs> usual. No, 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 that's all right. It wasn't a big reveal or a surprise or anything <laughs> like that. So I'm going to use a little of my express glue. I'm going to apply that there and we'll attach the legend winter wonderland like so. That. And I've slightly bent 
the cardstock mm -hmm. so it's going to go so it's going to be raised and then what we'll do is we will attach it to our card front thus we'll bring that down a little oh, there we are That's so we'll simple. pop that in place so there's a card front there's winter wonderland we've also got here we are we've got winter wishes with one of the other panels there's merry and bride that was oh. the same one that we used and finally our reindeer so it is the gift that keeps on giving of course it's all about the lantern but there's so much more that you can do with this set amazing that is fantastic such a good demonstration pete thank you so much i'm going thank to give you, you a Lynn. moment to breathe what we'll do is we'll come back and if it's okay with you just have a quick look through as many of the chapter four items as you've got to hand so we can see what's you've in the new, the new release lovely i will see you very shortly thank you oh okay no problem how talented is pete he, he just blows me away every single time but that is a beautiful die set I can see that going very, very quickly. And of course, um, this 15% off of your Sizzix products is only while stocks last, of course. So pop that into your basket as soon as possible because I think after that demonstration, everyone's going to want it. If you are looking at getting your 15% off of items from Sizzix from the new chapter four, you're going to need this code down the bottom. I've kept that up as long as possible for you. So that's SZX15, okay? I always get my X's and Z's muddled up, so make sure you jot that down correctly because I'm always doubting myself whether I'm right or not. So SZX15, you'll get 15% off, and that is all of the chapter four, and that also covers a lot of things like the surfaces. There are so many elements to the Sizzix surfaces. You've got things like their opulence collections. They are a fantastic cardstock pack. Uh, my go-to as well for mirror card and for glitter card are those opulence packs because there's whites, there's uh, greys, there's golds, there's all sorts in there. Silvers, of course, it is. they are beautiful and a go-to. So um, grab those and stock up on your essentials while you've got this 15% off as well. Now, we've got lots and lots of other things to tell you about today. I'm just going to skip away from Sizzix just for two seconds because Creative Expressions have got some stamps that I spotted online this morning and I just want to tell you about them very, very quickly since we're looking more at dyes today, so we can do this. If you want some beautiful autumnal stamps, have you seen the new designer boutique stamps from Creative Expressions? They are online at the moment and they are only, I think they start from $7.99 and they are beautiful. You've got things like this gorgeous floral jelly fish in there you have got a beautiful decorative owl you have got things like so there is a rabbit on a toadstool it is as whimsical and as beautiful as it sounds as well oh a hedgehog in a teacup as well and they're all framed they are beautiful please go and see those because there are bundles as well that are i think it's something like three stamp sets for 19.99 so amazing price for those too now we've talked a lot about the 15 percent off so hopefully you've jotted that code down we've told you as well about the fold away that pete was using but we have another offer for you okay so we have got a massive massive competition this is as well as the giveaways that we're doing today so 150 pound today we are giving you in sizzix chapter four prizes but we have a big big competition because it is Sizzix's 20th birthday next week okay um, I'll ask Pete in a moment what he's doing to celebrate that I'm sure he's got lots planned we are celebrating by giving you the chance to win a prize worth 250 pounds now included in that is things like a Sizzix die cutting machine and I believe it's the plus as well and there's lots of things like your dies your tools etc you can actually go online and see what the prize is going to be but you may as well do that whilst you enter now the way to enter that is to go along to craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration okay that takes you to the craft stash blog simply go on there and enter your details you are going to be in with a chance of winning and tell all your friends as well because it is completely free to enter of course so you are in with a chance we're going to announce the winner of that next friday so we're picking that at midday on friday that's let me just check the date the date today is the 10th so that will be the 17th so you've got a week to enter but be really really quick with that everybody okay because um i know lots of you are going to be entering so Get that done, you know you're entered, you're in the chance, 250 pounds, I mean, what's not to love about that? But you can see all the details on the blog. So that's craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration. Okay, are we ready to see some more of these chapter four products? Because I'm hoping Pete is ready, he's nodding away. There we go, let's see what we've got in store from the new collection then, Pete. 
Okay, let me just uh, give you a whiz. This is not all of the chapter because there's, there's so much. It's, it's mind-boggling. Uh, but I'm just going to give you a quick uh, run-through of some of the products, and we'll see some coming up in the demos as well. Now, obviously, chapter four, it, it, it's, it's, it's all which is so popular right now. This one's called Woodland Nature. You can see that the dies, each die has all the individual little bits on it, so you're not losing Aww. any little dies. That's a lovely, lovely, whimsical set. Then something like this. I know that many of us have these lovely labels. This is layered labels. You also get the floral elements. This is a kind of example of something that you could do by layering those up. Then this one, this now this is quite nice you can use these as they are but they do fit with our rounded uh, rectangle um oh, shaker dome yes. so you can make lovely shaker cards with that as well then this one is simply called house but it gives you a lovely festive house change up the colors you've got a gingerbread house but you have all these little pieces with that also then this is called Mini Lovebirds. It's a lo it's called, of course, I mean, we are thinking about Valentine's for Chapter 4. If you want to shop ahead for that, I know we haven't even hit Halloween yet, and I'm talking about Valentine's, but, hey, you know, it's never too soon. No, of course now, not, and it will creep up. But you can use that for so many other things as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It, it's universal and it's eternal, and it can be used all year round, as you rightly said. So we've got floral geo heart frame there. These geo frames, they are so popular, but it comes with these lovely flowers that just in neutrals or with your opulence, you know, that's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. What would a chapter be without a lovely alphabet? Gorgeous. And this one is called stylized alphabet. It's a classic because it's tall and thin. It's a lovely size. It's great for card fronts, for your tags. If you're a scrapbook or, mm. or maybe you love journaling, it's one of those that will be in your stash and will never go out of fashion. I love those. Frankly. And you know, I love my text anyway, anything to do with letters. You do. But that is a, such a yeah. good size. It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. It's, but, you know, we've got we've got so many fonts and so many different sizes. Why well, not mix and match? But it's a great one for your stash. And it's a, it's a go to because because it's just a classic font, quite frankly. Now, this one is Celestial box card cool. and this creates a lovely box card there's real dimension in there but you can put that inside your base card and it kind of folds down so it pops up and folds down it's a lovely lovely die you can see there's the mechanism there and all those little bits really cute fantastic now i love this I, i'm a sucker for this it's called winter nature of course it could be autumn uh, as well mm -hmm. it depends you you know you you switch up your colors you, you you do whatever you want use your neutrals use your colored cards so even festive cards so will come in handy with that it's just a lovely little die set it, it really is. is really delicate um next up this is heart mandala and this comes from eileen hull and it goes it, it, she uses it to decorate all the journal covers and little notelet books and stuff like that Super, super die, an absolute classic once again. And this one is Mystical Nature. Now, you get this lovely moon. Not only do you get the owl, but you also get this gorgeous leopard oh. as well. So that ties into the mystical trend, which we are seeing uh, so much these days. Mm -hmm. Just a really cute... Uh, I, I don't know why I didn't do a sample with this. I honestly don't, because I love it. I do. There's still time, I do Pete. I'm sure it. you will. Yeah. Oh, I will. I'll get around to it. Don't worry about okay. that. Next up, we've got Swiss cheese. Now, Swiss cheese, of course, it's one of our 3D embossing folders. Oh. It works on multi levels. It's great as a background folder. I just love the texture mm. that you get in this. And it is such, such a good, deep, crisp emboss. Now, I've got a couple of big styles to show you. This is called Protea. Um, and this is the flower that it creates, but you get all the separate little um, petals there. So you, you can pretty much do what you want with this. I mean, it really is an open book in terms of creativity, but big styles, of course, they are deep. Mm -hmm. They're thick, they have a steel base, cut with scissors. And one more big sign, we've got pine tree. This is a classic Christmas tree. Again, it could be felt. It could be, it could be man board. You know, if you yeah. want to do a freestanding one, if you want to do um, mixed media type things with this, it's a, it's a great die. And it will cut through all of those different materials we talked about before. Now, 
I'm just going to one more, one more. So okay. this is called Animal Alphabet, designed by the lovely Lisa Jones, and you are getting 26 letters, rather unsurprisingly. <laughs> and each individual letter has oh, all the look. bits on it that you are going to need to create that one word. So let's go through. Let's go through A, B, C, shall we? So. There oh, we are. We've got happy birthday, Ancharad, with our... The, they're all Welsh names I've used, actually. So that's <laughs> Ancharad. Uh, don't pronounce, start pronouncing that at home, unless you're <laughs> no, I won't. in Wales. <laughs> no, best not. Best not. Uh, this is happy birthday, Becca. Uh, the Welsh spelling of Becca. Um, so there's a little bear Gorgeous. with the P there. And finally, happy birthday, Kateson, with a lovely cat for the sea. So that Fantastic. gives you an idea of the kind of thing you can do with it. You know, if you're doing room plaques yeah. for uh, your child, grandchild, niece, nephew, whatever, it's a gorgeous alphabet, and it's one that you're going to have so much fun with. Absolutely. So there you go. There's a brief overview of Chapter 4. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, um, Pete, no, can I just take pleasure. two seconds just to say hello to some people? I've just realised I've not said hello sure. to our viewers. Um, I'll come back and do that, and then we'll come back to demonstration, no if that's all right. Thank you. Okay. So apologies, everybody. I usually do this at the beginning. I am so excited about all the giveaways and everything that I completely forgot and we went straight to Pete's demo. So I'm just going to do a very quick hello. I'm going to go with some of the more recent comments. Just saves me scrolling through all the hundreds of comments. Um, Suzanne Taylor says, OMG, she needs that animal alphabet. It's awesome. Absolutely, Suzanne, you do. Michaela Hearns also says the alphabet is amazing and it would be perfect for nursery decor. Um, Mitzi's asked, is, is Pete Welsh? There we go, Pete. <laughs> do you think? Do you think he's he can say the way he says some Welsh names? It, I absolutely love it. Yeah, I can I can listen to Pete all day. Um, Joe Crafty just says fabulous collection. Um, Christine Howard loves the three D folders. Thank you all so much for joining us. That's a few of you over on um, Facebook. I'm just going to pop over to YouTube now. Bear with me, let the these catch up. So we've got we've also got a Lou P as well. She loves the Sizzix style. Thank you. It's very clean, isn't it? Usually the Sizzix style until you start getting into the uh, the distress inks and things like that. Pete can do both. He is just a magician with paper. It's amazing. Uh, Absta Crafts. Um, she's joining us. She's also said the alphabet is gorgeous. Louise Noah, she loves the alphabet. Louise, you um, you won a prize recently. That's gone out to you this week. Um, congratulations on that again. Joanne Tolbert, again, the alpha, do you know, I think the alphabet's got to be a winner here by the sounds of it. Um, so many comments, so many of you. Christine Howard says, everything looks fabulous. I'd love to read out every single comment from every single one of you, with the hundreds of hundreds of you watching between the, all the different platforms. I'd be hard pushed, wouldn't I? Shall we go back to Pete and see what magic he really does have? What Welsh magic he's got for us now? <laughs> I think he's half, he's half there, he's still. There you go. There we go. He's the there. Looks like we've got okay. um, a little I'm bit of back. camera interference at the moment, but I'm sure it will clear soon. Okay. We've Am I back you, with Pete. you? We've got you, Pete. That's fine. Okay. Great stuff. Yes, I am. I am Welsh, incidentally, in case you were not aware. So let's let's crack on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at another couple of die sets. Um, first of all, first of all, I want to look at this lovely embossing folder. It's called Sweater, as in you know a, a cable knit Aaron sweater. And I'm going to do some embossing with this. And I just want to take some cardstock and spritz it before popping it in the embossing folder. The reason is it allows for the fibers of the cardstock to stretch. Okay. Um, and, and you always do this, is that right? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, um, obviously, you can't with, with opulence or metallics no. because they're impervious to water. But with normal cardstock, what it does, it, it allows the fibers to stretch and it gives you a much deeper, much cleaner, and much crisper emboss. And when it dries, it dries absolutely rock solid. So. When I'm using a 3D folder loop, what I'm going to do is just take a single cutting plate. I'm going to remove my other cutting plate and the top of my, my platform. And I'm just using the base of my platform. This is what we do when we are using a 3D embossing folder. Now, I'm going to run this through. What we recommend with 3D embossing to expel the water and to ensure that we get as clear and crisp and deep 
an impression as we possibly can. I'm going to run it through at least twice. Okay. Um, sometimes three times. It depends on the thickness mm -hmm. of the card, the type of folder that I'm using. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That, that texture. Um, I know it is. It really is. It's a lovely, lovely folder, this one. Uh, kudos to whoever actually designed this because it must have taken forever to get all that detail going oh, absolutely. on. Absolutely. So, and that, that was that's playing what cards. For. That was just playing cardstock before. That's just playing cardstock. This is our wow. Sizzix cardstock, which I'll talk about in a little second, actually. Um, but I'm going to keep it really simple. We are going to get a couple of cards out with this. I'm going to heat this. Okay. Um, so obviously we've used we've used water on there. I hope you can hear me above the heat source. My yeah, I can heat hear source. you still. Okay, so we'll just heat that through, and then um, for the first one. I'm just going to stick it down. We've got, uh, I've got a pre-printed card here, and we've got it, which bears the legend, oh. sending hugs. Lovely. Um, I'm going to place that across there. Look at Maybe that. See, this is where Pete is such an expert. He's He looks as if he just chopped a little bit of cardstock off, chucked it in the embossing folder. It was all measured to size. He's so organized. To perfect, you've got to be organised. You've got to be organised because <laughs> I, I, I've learned, I've learned, Lou, and I'm sure you have. I've learned by my mistakes. You know, yeah. you go to do something live, or maybe you're on TV or something, and you haven't got that thing that you hoped you had. So, the making of lists is paramount. Oh for me. yes. Are you a so are you a, a digital list maker or are you a paper and pen boy? Oh, it's all it's all written down. This is my list, incidentally, for two. Day. Yes, you're just so like me, no everything's pads. Everything's written down, everything's checked off, so to ensure that I've got it on the desk. Um, without that, I'm, I'm very much, yeah, it's, it's a pen and paper. So okay. look at this, this is, I used a couple of our framelit dies to okay. cut two circles. And then I'm going to place that into my I card, see like so. I where you're going now. So there you go, sending hugs, hugging a mug, how about that? Love that. Oh, just... Now, that's, Makes me feel great. Does it give you a cozy feeling? Yeah, it really does. Sorry, we were talking over each other then. It really oh. does. Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to uh, do another one very quickly because there's a technique I want to show you. Remember our original uh, cable knit there, the grey one mm -hmm. that we did. I'm going to use a couple of acrylics, and I've got some light grey. And I've got some ivory as well, or a creamy kind of buttermilk color there. Nice. So I only need a little of each because I've got, I'm using, um, and I'm going to spritz it just to activate. I'm using a sea sponge. And what I'm going to do, this is a great way to enhance the detail on your embossing folders. So I'm dragging that. Can you see how I'm dragging oh, yes. it over the texture? And that yeah. is actually picking out the details so it's applying color to those areas at the top it really does and then sort of highlight it doesn't it it makes a big big difference it really does and especially you know you, you'll see that more pronounced actually when it dries so that's the gray so i'm going quite heavy with the gray and i know that the areas in between are going to remain darker then when i come in with the lighter one the buttermilk um I just want to pick out the tops, just okay. the tops of them. Um, very, very subtle, oh, almost mm -hmm. imperceptible. I can see it, but um, yeah. you know, it, it does make a big difference. Now, the last, last thing, I'm going to come in with my pumice stone distress ink, and I'm going to pick up those edges just okay. to give a little definition. Do you know what I was going to do today? It was going to be all clean. There were going to be no inks. There was going to be no nonsense. It was just going to be lovely, no. clean cast off. But I couldn't resist. I just had to oh, get Oh, we love in it when there. you bring in all the different mediums. I mean, uh, for oh. example, um, Kimberly said it's so detailed now, it's hard to believe it's paper. It is. It, it looks isn't it, though? phenomenal. It look it does look it does look like a, a, a you know a cable knit sweater it really does um, so I put some hot glue on there and I'm gonna put this eventually <laughs> I'm gonna put this onto my base card so all it of the looks fingers like and a there. printed paper of you know a photograph oh. of some cable knit and it's been print photographed mm. printed off and put on there it's that realistic very much so oh but 
here we are. I'm going to move over to this now. Oh. This is um, a lovely set, and it, it comprises stamps and framelits, and you can create something like this. This was created using said frame, stamps and framelits, mm -hmm. and you can see that the larger of the frame that actually cuts the aperture. Oh, yes. Then you can decorate it with your stamps. But what I'm gonna do right now is take our lovely deer and I'll also take the little scarf because what I wanna do is take a piece of card and stamp with, with, the, de with the detail from the deer onto right. said card. And I'm gonna use a light gray. Okay. So there we are. Whilst I'm Pete's stamp onto... um, just stamping that very quickly, everybody, um, I didn't mention at the beginning that the three winners of the Chapter 4 bundles today will also win um, one of Pete's cards that he's making today as well. And I know Pete always puts his um, very, um, very well, what's the word? When people pay a lot of money for something. <laughs> uh, okay, very much desired. Um, autograph inside the card as well and we will send those out with your prize or they'll come separately because I'll send them out personally but they will come alongside your prize as well so if you want a an autographed card that Pete has made with his own hands uh, make sure you're commenting to win the bundle as well so there we go um, now what I've done you can see I've, I've stamp that detail and I'm also mm -hmm. cutting the scarf as well from the pink I'm using the pink because this is a very monochromatic card yeah but just that little hint of color oh, really yes. really lifts it and, and elevates it yeah definitely it really does so I'll run that through and we'll put this to one side we're taking that out and the scarf as well. Now you can, if you wanted to, you could even emboss this scarf using the cable knit. That's entirely up to you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this lovely tool from my paper sculpting kit. And I'm just going to give that a little curl. Mm -hmm. Then this is where Maker's Tape comes into its own when you're using stamps and framelits yeah. and the registration has to be, has to be absolutely perfect. And it didn't but peel can... off any of the ink either. The what? Sorry, Lou. I the ink, sorry, the ink from the stamp. It didn't peel any of that back either. No, no, it didn't. And, and I mean, that's why it's always good. I use a, a dye-based ink, so it, it's right. it's um, it pretty it dries pretty instantaneously. Yeah. As well, so sometimes it's it's about using the correct product for the for the job at hand. So I put some double-sided sticky pads on there. Now I'm going to take my lovely scar, apply a little of my express glue to that before flipping over this lovely reindeer and popping it there. Then Beautiful. what I'm gonna do is just place them just on the edge of there. And the legend spells oh. cozy Christmas wishes. That is there we are, how about that? Absolutely gorgeous. That it's is cute, so, isn't it? So is those amazing. were the two that we just did there, how about that? Simple. Two two cards. You've put them together so quickly, and I know you've already prepared to some extent. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot, but for everybody at home, they really wouldn't take sort of I don't know thirty minutes each to make, maybe. Um, oh goodness me! Yeah. Easily, they are fantastic, Pete. Um, I'll just come back Thank and you. remind of the offers again, and then if you don't mind, before the third demonstration, can we have a look at that really big bundle that people could win over the next week or so? I'll get it on my desktop for when you come back. Thank you so much, Pete. You are fabulous. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm going to tell you all about the big, big competition prize that we are giving in uh, celebration of the Sizzix 20th birthday week next week. So you've got a full week to enter that. Entries are open now. Um, I've made a mistake. I thought it was £250 worth. I think it's 245 close enough okay but just correct myself there um but to go over and enter to win that which pete, pete is going to show you in just a moment um just pop over to craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration and i believe craftstash in the comments on both youtube and facebook they have put a comment there so you can link directly through to it okay but do make sure you enter and then tell your friends as well or if you can enter for your friends because that'd be a nice surprise for them wouldn't it you could even split it i suppose if you and all your friends are 
you're entering, whoever of you wins, split the prize between you because it is a huge, huge prize. So we've also got some bonuses if you are purchasing anything today because of course chapter four, I think this is going to sell out so, so quickly. Um, the products are amazing, but the demonstrations are phenomenal. So once you've seen those, I'm sure you'll want everything that Pete's using and you can get 15% off today. Okay, now this is today, but that's also tomorrow and then that's it. This is a two day special offer, okay? So at the end of tomorrow, the 15% will no longer last. Sometimes we have these offers on for a few days after a live not this one, this is only two days, so please do grab that again quickly while you can. And that's chapter four, and there's a lot of items under there as well. So like I say, this is things like your Sizzix surfaces, which I wax lyrical about all the time. I absolutely love them, um, but you can see them there. Things like, so they've got like the, um, it's like the metallic paper in there that's almost like a leather, like a faux leather, and you can cut it with your dies and you can be shaping it and all sorts. I mean, if we had more time, I'd say to Pete, Pete, grab some of that and show, you know, there's so many items you can be finding on Craft Sash that are phenomenal to use. But get your 15% off now. We've got the machine as well. Um, Pete talked to you through that beginning and he's using it through the demonstration. So you've seen it in action. It is a fantastic machine. It not only comes with, of course, the plates that you need, but also lots of extra items like some dies and tools as well. Again, you can see everything on the website, but that is down now to 84.99 taking 88 pounds off it's 172.99 before so that is more than half price okay and that's not when you buy or anything like that that is how much it is and if you're thinking i really want it at that price i want to take the opportunity to grab it while it's on offer but my budget just isn't stretching this month. Don't forget we do have ClearPay as well. So ClearPay stretches your payments over a couple of months for you. So, sorry, I think it's four months over for you. So that's no credit check required, no deposit or anything like that. You just pay your first payment. You will get your product with that first payment and the other payments will be required month two, month three, and so on, okay? Um, you're also paying no interest on ClearPay also. So well worth grabbing those bits that you want now and then purchasing them over the next few months. Okay, I think that's everything from me. Um, Pete has got that big prize in his hands or the elements of the big prize in his hands. So let's take a look at these, Pete. I'm just gonna put the details up for everybody again so they can see what we're looking at. Is it a plus or is it a big shot? No, it's a standard big shot. Right. It's okay. the classic, it's, it's where, it's where we started with our roller machines. So this is the Big Shot. It's been around since 2005. And quite frankly, it hasn't changed a bit. No. I mean, yeah, we've changed the colors, but you know, this machine is sent. Can you think of a product that hasn't changed in all that time? It's incredible. Except and yourself. the reason it hasn't changed is because it doesn't need to change. It's perfect as it is, in my humble opinion. But not only are you getting the machine, you're also getting this wonderful set of scalloped circles we are getting groovy christmas which is a stamp and framelit set we are getting christmas cheer we are oh. getting hand drawn alphabet we are getting knitted which is a 3d embossing folder now how about a lovely die brush everybody needs a die brush we've got some of our yeah. new scissors scissors those are the smaller ones we have a die pick because you can't have dies without a die pick quite frankly the maker's tape which we saw earlier mm -hmm. we also have our 3d foam tape we have our permanent adhesive roller and to top it all off we need something to cut so how about a pack of our wonderful cardstock oh, my sheets my favorite and cardstock 18 sheets in there and we all love the cardstock sheets i'm sure i'm, I'm you use them now have you used them yes i use them i keep a pack by my craft desk in the studio a pack at home and a pack in my tote that i take to the studios for example when i go to peterborough so because it's just got a full range of colors and it's such good quality and it's a solid core and i could go on but that's your job <laughs> well I've, I've got them here actually so we, we can have a flick through these so there are 20 colors there are four of each color the 216 gram you can see that they have that lovely linen texture on that yeah. side but on the back they're quite smooth mm. so you're getting the best of both worlds yes. and just check out 
So this will take you through all the seasons, autumn, Christmas, winter, oh. Valentine's, birthdays, boys, girls, Easter, pretty much everything. Now, if you love that, we also have, and you will find this on the Craft Stash website, naturally, we have our neutrals as well. Oh. So they are a great accompaniment to those lovely base colors we also have festive sets and we will be bringing out several different sets so we can get a fully encompassing uh, color story just so it makes it so much easier for you it's made it so much easier for me mm -hmm. having to choose having all, all these colors to choose from never running out of the color as well Absolutely. gorgeous and love them love them to bits these are some of the items that you can get your 15 percent off as well so uh, well worth grabbing that this is kind of an essential isn't it pete oh very much so it's become an essential for me um i don't know I, do you know I, I struggle i don't know what i did before because you're all sometimes you know if you want a certain color you go to a website to order it they might not have it in stocks mm. particularly the popular colors so being able to have a set and being able to go to it time and time again i, I all the projects behind us they will have all been made with that cardstock as well as some of our festive cardstock so you see we've got some different greens we got that yes. lovely pink there we got we got the browns in there so there's so many different options even outside of that with our festives as well so Beautiful. it's the gift that keeps on giving lovely um do you have a third demonstration for us I'm sure you we can do something for you. Yeah. I'm sure we can. Thanks. Yeah. I couldn't I'm remember how many you had. Here. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to come back? Do you want me to come back to you? Give you a moment. Yeah, that would be great. I'll be two minutes and we'll be ready to go. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give him just a second to get himself sorted out. So running through all the offers today. In fact, I need to do some more of the comments because I've got so many people commenting and I apologize. I can't keep up with the comments. Um, we've got Roseanne has said a super, superb prize celebrating the best of 20 years. And do you know what? Pete is very, very correct. There's a lot about Sizzix products that they just haven't changed because why change something if it works perfectly? I've got a Sizzix, you can't see it. It's behind the banner, that's why. I've got Sizzix machines, one's there, one's in the car because I'm shooting off to Peterborough straight after this live. Um, I've got them everywhere. I absolutely, they're my go-to die cutting machine. Um, we've just had this discussion, I can't even remember how many, Pete's got about six or seven, I think, um, across the different ranges. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot to be said about Big Shot. Now, first of all, you're going to be able to get your Sizzix fold away with that discount today but then if you're also if you've got your eye on the Sizzix that we just saw the big shot that Pete just showed us as well and again maybe you're thinking budget at the moment you know maybe you're sort of putting things aside for Christmas instead now enter our giveaway okay enter our big birthday competition let me grab the details for you again because that big bundle could be yours and we are announcing the winner on Friday so that's Friday next week okay so we're choosing it at midday you've got until midday to enter but I would just say go and do it now while you think of it so once you've done your shopping once you've got your chapter four once you've put your code in because you don't want to forget this code of course then go over enter the competition and you're done you can forget about it and you will get an email if you've won okay so don't worry about missing the announcement one of us will contact you so you won't miss out um pete are you okay for me to come back to you I'm good to go. he's so quick he's D just straight away he's good to go <laughs> there we go amazing thank you sorry if i put you on the spot there i apologize i thought you had no, another demonstration right. to hand um, go for it. All yours. Okay, right. Let, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at one of the other die sets from Chapter Four, which is Bold Flowers. Now, oh. I love these modern, quirky, whimsical shapes. It is gorgeous. You see, we have lots of different sizes there, and I love that because you can change the scale of these. So, here are some of the dies in that set, but we also have some on my platform ready, and you can see I've used the neutral cardstock this time and some of our opulence this is the rose gold glitter card which comes in the rose gold I opulence love it. set so i'm going to pick that up carefully put it into my machine and wind it through so once through the machine will be ample i'm going to take that out just for a second and 
So I'll slide those off to one side because I'm going to do a bit more embossing. I, I'm a sucker for that embossing folder. So I'm going to use that once more. That's our okay. sweater embossing folder. But this time, you can see what I've done. I've taken a piece of, this is kind of an asymmetric rectangle, and I've attached a die cut circle. Great. Crop okay. the end up again using our neutral cardstock. And as before, I'm going to spritz lightly both sides, and I'm going to place them into the embossing folder like so. We'll sandwich, we'll place it on there and run it. So I, this time I'm embossing it through two layers. So if you want to cut some flowers, put it onto a background yeah. and then emboss it, you oh. can do that. You can, Oh, and it shoots out the other side. <laughs> That's a first. There we are, but well, there we are. How about that? Oh, it was so that. keen to show the world. It was. Um, <laughs> exactly how it come out but that's gorgeous isn't it again you know then that lovely ivory color it's kind of like a fisherman's sweater isn't it, it? is and so, that circle really stands out like that really doesn't does. it though it's all part of my plan you know Lou. of course <laughs> yeah let's put a bit of glue on there i'm using the hot glue just to just to speed things up yeah. normally i do Double-sided table, something. Do you know like what, that, Pete? But... Today's gone so quickly, and I've just realised the time and realised why I should have oh. been asking you for another demonstration. <laughs> well, do you know what? Do you know what, Lou? We can say that's how it starts, and here's one I made. Oh, there we oh, go. Look at... oh, so there I you love... go. So there's all our die-cut pieces, which I, I've given them a gentle curl. I put them. Don't they? Don't those neutrals look stunning together, just against that ivory cardstock? I really love that, and I love the fact that you've got the same. Presumably, that is the same colour grey that you've embossed against the smooth of the card base. Indeed, it, it is. It just same works colours. so well. That's amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Pete, for that. And apologies to have My to pleasure. rush you. I just realised oh, what the time was. Um, I was well, only going to do the boring bit next anyway, so we've done all the hard work. Oh, no, that's absolutely fantastic. You're amazing, as always, Pete. All that's left for me thank to do you. is to announce some winners. Do you want to hang around for that for just a second? Because I've got the names here. Yeah, hey, I'll hang around. Yeah, 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 I'd like to hear the winners. Let, let you off work for a few more minutes now. You can stand and listen. Um, <laughs> we have got our winners now. So first of all, we have got from Facebook, we've got Susan Ede. Congratulations to you, Susan. Um, one of Pete's lovely cards will be coming out to you. Um, Pete, I'll send you these names afterwards. Okay. Um, yeah. or a little bit later. We've also got from YouTube, we've got Handmade by Emma. Congratulations to you. And lastly, from Facebook, we have the lovely Kate Baker. Well done to you too. Thank you again to you, Pete. Um, you've been amazing. So, oh, as always, I just wish I had an ounce of your talent. Um, obviously- Oh, come on, get away. No, you, you are fantastic. And obviously the chapter four dies and embossing folds and everything else we've seen already um, make the most amazing project. Um, do you know what's coming next? What's the most exciting thing you've got coming up next? Well, we do have some wonderful things um, coming. Obviously, Chapter 4 takes us through to, to the end of the year, mm -hmm. but look out for some of Tim Holt's releases. He's got some stunning, a truly stunning releases, one of which is going to blow your mind. I can't say too much about oh. it now because we have to wait for Tim to do the launch. I don't want to step on his of toes. Of course. So, yeah, they're just really good. So keep your eyes peeled. They will all be on Craft Stash, of course. Oh, absolutely. Thank you again, Pete. I will let you get on with your day, um, but we will see you hopefully back very, very soon, okay? Thanks very much, Lou. A pleasure as always. And you. Have a lovely weekend. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. That's the thing I do. Bye, bye, bye. I can't say bye, bye. Um, so congratulations to the three winners, uh, Susan, Emma and Kate. We'll get not only that bundle of Chapter 4 products out to each of you, but we will also get one of Pete's signed cards. So do just wait for that because obviously Pete needs to sign it, get it over to me and then I post it out to you. So it's kind of two deliveries there. Um, but we will get those done. Just please send us your postal addresses so we can do all of that. Um, just probably the easiest way is either if you're on Facebook message the craft stash facebook page or you can email the craft stash customer services you'll find the address email address on the website uh, so everybody a very quick recap for you in case you've just joined us you can catch up on youtube and on facebook of course um, if you are watching live congratulations to the wins if you're not watching live 
You've just he heard me announce some winners, but there is still a chance for you to all win a massive prize. Let me just pop these details back up for you because we have our big Sizzix 20th birthday competition running over now. So it's just gone live on the Craft Stash blog. That's www.craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration. Go over there and enter to win a massive Sizzix bundle. We I will announce the name of that uh, next Friday in the live because we're picking it at midday on Friday. So like I say, if you're catching up over the weekend, you can still go over and enter for that. Uh, Friday today the 10th and tomorrow Saturday the 11th is your chance to get your 15% off using this code that will end at midnight on Saturday so be super quick with that as well and of course lastly we do have that amazing Sizzix fold away at this price. I mean, really, 84.99 reduced down by 88 pounds from 172.99. Be really quick with that. I'll be surprised. I need to go and pop one into my basket as soon as I've done my journey in a minute. I'll be surprised if there's any left because I know people were jumping on this earlier. So if you're thinking about it, grab that and don't forget you have got clear pay so you can spread the payments if you need to. So a fantastic, again, another thank you to Pete. Thank you to all of you for joining me and taking up your Friday lunchtime. Have a fantastic weekend. Grab your bargain, sit back and enjoy. There's lots of other demonstrations on the Craft Stash YouTube channel that you can watch whilst you're waiting for your products to arrive. I will see you again very soon. So uh, just have a lovely Friday afternoon and take care. Okay.